Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video on Oblivion and today I want to tell you guys about what makes Anvil a special city. Um, now all the cities have different kind of specializations and cool things about them and we're going to start off with Anvil which I think <clears throat> beyond the Imperial City is the most kind of memorable city because it has a similar style to the Imperial City. Um, there's some really cool quests in Anvil, I think my favorite one has to be the Haunted House. You know, because it's one of the cheaper houses to buy, and you don't have to buy furniture for it. And instead, you know, you really just do a ghost hunting thing. You get a cool room that looks like a place you can summon demons in. So I think it makes it very unique. And it's, I think it's one of the cooler looking houses. I really like the house inside of the city of Anvil. Now, Anvil is also home to um, the Fighters Guild that you get quests in. and. One of the more boring Mages Guild quests, I mean, you just sit around and walk down a road, you know, that's what you get for the Mages Guild quest. But there's also the castle, which is home to a Thieves Guild fence, and Anvil is also a place where you meet the Grey Fox, but you don't know it's him till later on, and he actually comes and, like, gives you the mask in Anvil, and the lady, the lady who's just a lady who doesn't have a husband, all of a sudden has a husband, and he becomes the Count of Anvil. Anvil is unique in that it's one of the only coastal cities. You know, Breville is a coastal city, and Leowin is a coastal city, but there's no real harbors compared to Breville and Anvil. And so Anvil has this kind of coastal vibe to it, and you can tell with the style of buildings that it's influenced by the ocean. You can just kind of tell with the way that the buildings are. It's very much a coastal city. And the landscape is really cool. The ground is yellow, which is an interesting choice, but there's a lot of kind of cliff sides and big hills that allow you to see um, where you know the ocean is. And it's also got a little hilly region in the north where there's a lot of hills. Um, I, I actually really like, I like the style of Anvil. I don't necessarily like the city that much because it's very weird crescent crescent shaped city, but I definitely like the the styling of the biomes and the architecture of the city is actually really cool. Um, what I think makes the architecture most notable and why it looks so much like the Imperial City is it looks like ancient Greek and Roman architecture, just like the Imperial City. You know, all the other towns and cities in this game really don't have the Roman architecture that the Imperial City does have, and you know, Anvil's the only one that has it. What's kind of funny though is for me. I find that there's not a lot of boat-based quests in Anvil. Like, to me, the quest that kind of sticks out to me as a boat-based quest is the Imperial City where you're on the boat and it gets stolen by burglars. You know, you're on a boat and it gets stolen by burglars. And also, there's another one where you have to go on a boat in the Imperial City to kill someone. That's another quest. And it just seems like Anvil, yeah, it's a coastal city, but it really doesn't have coastal quests. I mean, it looks cool, and you know, there's shops named after coastline traders and whatnot, but there's Lighthouse, and the castle's on a cool rock cliffside, but there's really no water-based quests, coastal-based quests, and kind of sucks, because Anvil would be... I mean, you could just have a point in Anvil where a boat randomly spawns and comes every once in a while and has a quest, you know? So stuff like that could happen. Or, you know, they have more dockyards and ships. You know, I think in Skyrim they did really good in Solitude where there's dockyards and ships. Anvil doesn't have that, you know? I mean, there's a boat, yeah, and I believe there's a boat-based quest in Anvil. I'm not too sure about that. I don't remember. But that's all that really makes Anvil special. You know, it's that city on the side next to the coast that you really don't get to travel to by foot because Kvatch is in the way and you don't travel to Kvatch by foot. So let me know what you think about Anvil in the comments below. Do you like it? I know everyone has their favorite city in Oblivion because, you know, they're all styled differently. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I will see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, or Instagram post of whatever I decide to make.